Hello and welcome to Horror Game Month. This was a poll that I put up on my YouTube channel asking if October should just be Horror Game Month. And two people voted yes. And since those were the only two people who voted, yes is what wins. Because that's how voting works, apparently. So, for the entire month of October, I am going to be playing horror games. I had the option for yes and to only do a new week, new game as horror game options. But no, the entire month of October will be horror games, which means I will be bringing Saturday back to upload videos. And I'm still sticking to the same kind of schedule that I have for uploading videos. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday is going to be one game. Tuesday is going to be one game. Thursday is going to be one game. Saturday is going to be one game. And then Sunday will be revolving games for new week new game where it's horror games that I have never played before. Now these horror games were already in the rotation for new week new game but I went through and I picked out four that I have heard about and that I have found interesting so instead of randomly rolling <clears throat> I picked the horror games for new, new week new game and I hope you enjoy them. And if I happen to beat a horror game in the month of October during one of the regular upload sessions, then a new one will take its place. We may not get through and finish that series during the month of October, and in which case it will fall to the wayside, and we will not see it. Unless, of course, you want to see it more and leave comments saying that you'd like for me to play this more frequently. Then once one of our games has fallen off of rotation, I can add it back into the rotation. But for now, we're going to be playing Tuesday's game. Tuesday's game is Buddy Simulator 1984. And for those of you who have watched my channel last year when I was doing New Year New Game, we played Buddy Simulator 1984. And uh, it was creepy. It was a rather creepy game. But it was a fun kind of game. And it kind of had that retro look to it as well. But the whole creepy psychological horror vibes, which is what Buddy Simulator is. If you go to the Steam Store page, it's psychological horror, indie, horror, retro RPG. I like all of those things. A psychological horror, not so much. For those of you who have not watched my channel during New Year New Game in October, you don't know that I don't like spooky games. That I'm not the biggest fan of spooky games. Some I'll play. Dead Rising, considered a horror game. It's a mall filled with zombies. That's horror related. I like that game, but it's more kind of like action. The Resident Evil series is a horror game but it came across more of an action game to me. Uh, but certain ones I'll make exceptions to and then other ones I just, if you go back and, and watch the catalog, you'll see. Now, I will also be bringing something else back for October that we had last year and that we haven't had in quite some time. And that thing is a webcam. Let's get that back into focus there. Because when people play horror games, seeing their facial expressions and their reactions is all a part of the fun, right? Right. Oh boy. Oh, I don't have a green screen, so it's going to be the, the blocky thing where you're going to see my messy bed and, and my stuff that's in the background. Maybe every once in a while, I'll, I'll lean over this way to the hallway 
and you'll see someone walk by or you may even see the cat just kind of go past or jump on the bed and if we're lucky maybe she'll lay right there and just go to sleep because right now her bitch ass is standing next to me meowing at me because she clearly wants something from me and she's not gonna get it until I'm done recording this so without further ado let's play buddy simulator 1984 this is all mouse and keyboard I can't use a controller but you're gonna hit run I think is what we need to do run by itself is not valid please use run followed by the title of the ROM you want to launch run buddy late tour <clears throat> all right we're probably gonna wind up needing help here run buddy sim you late tour 1984 1984 okay help <laughs> Enter view ROMs to view installed ROMs. That's what we need. You. Uh, not RIMs. ROMs. One ROM found. The Adventure of Atalus. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna hopefully start remembering what happened the last time that we played this game. I should have gone back and watched my own video. But I didn't do that. Commander, enter quit at any time to quit the ROM. Loading the adventure of Atlas. Welcome back to the adventure of Atlas, written and developed by Ted. Nine thirty twenty four. Oh no, it dated the video. You guys see this on the first, I'm recording it day before. Welcome back, Atalus. Okay, so here's where we left off. Standing in front of the shed, you see that the door is sealed shut. You want to type in? Open door. You can't. The door is sealed shut. In Inspect. Door. I don't know the action. Inspect. Look at. Door. The door is sealed shut. What if I put. Unseal. The door. Alright. Here we go. Walk away. There is no way to go. Hmm. Break door. No, no. Let's see what options we have. Inventory. Enter inventory to view all of your current items. Hey, there's something in my inventory. Look at yeah, followed by subject. Location, print out all list of locations you can go. Inventory. In your inventory, you have shovel, fishing pole, key, doll, key. Let's do use key. You don't need to use the key right now. Mm. I'll type in locations. You can see house, playground, pond. Go to house. You make note of the shed and head over to the house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads... A home is a house with a heart. If you were inside, 
everything would finally be okay. Let's go inside. The handle shimmies but doesn't open. You have to find a way inside. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before. You notice there's a second lock. Guess it'll take just a little longer to get inside. <laughs> Use key. Whoops, haha. <laughs> you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one for sure. Probably. What else was in my inventory? Shovel, fishing pole, doll. Use shovel. You don't need to use the shovel right now. Alright. Look. House. The house looks brand new and much warmer than out here. You swear for a second there was something in the window looking back at you. Look. In. Window. There is no in to look at. Look. Window. There's nothing special about it. Oh, it doesn't know break. Okay, so we can't do break. Mm -hmm. Go to backyard. There is no backyard. <sighs> Patience. Shed, playground, pond. Go to playground. I remember being here in playground before. Shed, we're kind of stuck with. We can't get inside of the house. Pond, we went to, I think, and fished something out of the pond. You step off the porch, make note, then head to the playground. Wood chips crush under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Reminder, type help for any list of commands. I'm gonna look at the other list of commands real quick. Take, should we take the doll? Take, doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. Leave it. So, look. Doll. It's wearing a pretty blue dress. What is it? Seesaw, swing, sandbox. Go. Sandbox. You already near the sandbox. Use shovel. You dig and dig and dig until the contents of the sandbox are almost empty. After a while, you get tired and realize it's starting to feel like a grave. You get out. Cool, so we just made a grave. Use seesaw. You don't have a seesaw to use. Oh, that's right, because you use. And I spelled seesaw wrong. Look, seesaw. It looks like it hasn't been played with in years. Oops. Seesaw, except for things gonna. You don't want to play on the seesaw anymore. It's no fun by yourself. Use swings. One seat is taken, you take the other one. Change screech as you begin swinging. Just as you begin to get high, you look to the doll and stop. His head is now turned towards you. You get off the swing. It's not fun anymore. Talk. Doll. I don't know the action. Talk. Alright, wonderful. Help. Go use, take, look. Those are the only actions we have. In an inventory. Go use, take, look. Locations. Go pond. 
After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the pond, Planks Creek as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through, probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. And then use fishing pole. You don't have a fishing pole to use. What's it called? Fishing pole. Oh, I used it as one word. It's two words. Fishing pole. The moment your line hits the water, you feel a tremendous force pull it. Your fishing pole is ripped from your hands and into the water. Oh, we got an achievement. Something flies out of the water and lands in your hands. It's a severed hand. One of the fingers twitches. Hand. Added to your inventory. Hmm. What could this hand be used for? Um. Now I'm just lost. I got an achievement for getting the hand, though. Oh, man. There's the shed, which is sealed shut. A doll at a playground. And a house with a chain around the door. Is there another area missing? House shed playground. House has a chain wrapped around it. Shed. Nothing. Playground has the doll. Maybe the hand and the doll interact? No playground. Take another look at the murky water and head to the playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step onto the playground. There's a seesaw, set of swings, dirty sandbox. Sitting on the swing is a small doll. It looks lonely. Use hand. Dropping it to the ground, the hand scurries away. You don't see where it goes. <laughs> Well, crap. Um, where else should we go then? Go doll. You're already near the doll. Just go shed. After stepping on a few more wood chips, you head over to the shed. Standing in front of the shed, you see... The door is sealed shut. Oh, what do we have left in our inventory? Fishing pole's gone. Do I only have the shovel? Tori. Shovel. Doll. I have doll. Wait, I have a doll? That doll's long. Let's use the doll on the doll. Go. Playground. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other for a moment. Nothing happens. Then nothing happens. Is it still in my inventory? Just the shovel. <clears throat> use doll. Don't have doll to use. Hmm. Go home. What's it called? It's fit style home. House. Go. House. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. Key added to your inventory. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings, creaking, and children laughing behind you. You smile. You are back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. 
the door sits in front of you. A familiar hand suddenly leaps into your inventory. It was carrying something. A map. It shows you how to get to a hidden place. Okay, let's use key first and foremost. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Use map. You don't have a map to use. I could go to the hidden place. Go to hidden place. You begin sinking into the floor and land into a seemingly endless abyss. Eerie white fingers float around in the distance. A small box with a keypad sits in front of you. Reminder, type leave to return to reality. Well, we don't have the number for the keypad, so leave. You float upwards and emerge back into the house. You are back at the house. You feel a familiar yet comforting calm wash over you. The door sits in front of you. Use door. You push open the door. Oh god. Everything is dark. Hmm. Don't like this. Oh god, it's a ghost! Hey there, guy. Is this... Oh, it's, I can move it. All right. We're now in, in a building. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built, built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. This is your new bedroom and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Alright, game's updated a bit. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home, Atlas. Music. Welcome home. Enjoy your new bedroom. You've got an achievement. Small scratches draw their own patterns on the old wood. It's mesmerizing. Taxes and junk mail lay scattered with a thin layer of dust. This. this seems like a nice place for a book or even a junk drawer the bed looks so cozy you can imagine yourself taking a long nap that flower looks nice it should probably be watered soon Leave the lamp no, it's just small scratches and the thing. Okay. Yep, yep, taxes junk. TV? Nope. Nothing. Just static on the TV. Can I interact with the chair? This chair seems comfortable. It probably has great back support. Can only hope. Really need it. Is there anywhere else we can go? Can we go to the window? You can see orange and yellow leaves gliding through the wind. Your eyes get tired while watching them. The bed looks so cozy you can imagine yourself taking a long nap. Still nothing. The flower looks nice. It should probably be watered soon. Where else would we go? Try to leave. Oh, we can go downstairs. Good morning, Adelis. What a beautiful fall day it is outside. But before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. 
once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever the world throws at you. Ted worked hard to make you a delicious breakfast. Thank you, Ted. The glossy metal exterior looks so nice and new. There's a small lonesome magnet near the freezer handle. Inside of the frame is a picture of you and Ted. Don't you two look so happy together? It's still a little warm from breakfast. Careful not to burn yourself. The sink looks nice, but it smells like pond water. And in right there. It is perfectly sized for you. You could probably get inside if you wanted. Ted's breakfast added to inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. Alright then, on to adventure. What's this? Is this is a fireplace. You immediately feel the warmth hit you like a warm hug from a friend. The house feels cozy. Let's put the chair. The chair looks incredibly comfy. The excitement of adventure keeps you from sitting down. Yeah, let's keep exploring. Let's go outside. Oh, it's like a whole town out here. Welcome to the new outside world, Atlas. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there were some fun opportunities for adventure happening across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. All right, let's get going. Atlas Residence. Oh, pond up north. I guess we should go north then. What's this? Oh, is this the park with the dolls? The doll's chest is still ripped open, exposing a rust-colored cotton where you're certain a key used to be. It's this doll, although lifeless and stuffed with cotton, you can't help but think she looks thankful for something you did. There's the... There's something dark and vicious mixed with the sand. Still looks quite fun to play in, though. The seesaw looks fun. If only you had a friend to use it with you. Alright, let's keep going north. Oh, it's the shed. You vaguely remember the shed, but now it's older and somehow creepier. The door is still sealed shut. Alright. Love this whole retro vibe. Here we go. Can we use this boat? Traverse the pond? Yes. Oh, can I move the boat? To the north we go. Um, well that's odd. I thought it was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? Uh, just another excuse for exploring, I suppose. Let's go find a paddle. Alright, here we go to go look for a paddle. Where could the paddle be? Maybe in this well? If you throw a coin in, I'm sure your wish will come true. Could go that way. What's this? It's a tube. Oh, it's like a bridge. There's something over here. a cave. I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. 
Just walk right to leave the tunnel. Alright. What's this? A light? Lantern added to the inventory. We can go in the dark cave now with our lantern. Let's do that. In here. I can now use the lantern. I said press tab to use my inventory, right? Lantern. Use. You turn on the lantern. There we go. Now we can walk through. Wow, it's really dark in here. It's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. I don't think we should turn around. I think we're fine as long as we have a lantern. Haha. Ha. Okay, we've had a... Oh. Just keep going. Atlas. We should leave. I don't think we should be here. Why? Though we wanted to explore and be adventurous. Please, turn around. Oh, hey. Paddle. Added to our inventory. Um, that's... Yeah. That's supposed to be here. Good job on finding it, Atlas. Yeah. Of course. Oh, is that a dog? Well, anyways. Let's get back to the pond. Please? Oh, hello, dog. You pet Lily, the cat. Oh. It's my cat, Lily. <laughs> oh. Oh, Lily. Alright. Let's go. Are you gonna go with us, Lily the cat? Come on, Lily. Let's go. Looks like we got ahead of Lily a bit. Come on, Lily. I'm sure Lily's right behind us. Atlas, can we please get out of here? Sure. We're at the end now. Oh, there goes Lily, barking away, as Lily the cat does. Pet Lily the cat. Let's go to the boat. Where you going, Lily? You gonna follow us? Alright, let's go over here. Get on the boat. Traverse the pond? Yes. Paddle removed from inventory. Do we need two paddles? You can leave that silly cat here. It probably won't fit on the boat anyways. I don't know. Why don't you see? Can you fit, Lily? Can you get on the boat? Oh, look at that. Lily fits great. Oh. Well. To the north. I guess. How about that? Lily fit perfect on the boat. I heard there's some really cool stuff this way. Are you as excited as I am? Yes. That's good to hear. Oh, and one more thing. I added an action that I like to call the buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press the B key and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Loading the north. Hey look, there's somebody in the pond. We have arrived. Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. Alright then, enough chatter. Let's get going. Let's go talk to this person here. Just fishing away. That fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. Hey, fisherman. Dundee. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you could help me out? I lost my hand a bit ago. It just took off and didn't come back. 
hands are so crazy, aren't they? Wait, is that it on your shoulder? Could it be? Possibly, Dudley. As possibly as your hand. My goodness, yes! My hand! Oh, how I have missed you! I can finally fish again. Oh, there it goes, crawling back to him. Crawling back. It's gonna take off, isn't it? It's not even gonna go to him. Yep, it's come back to me. Guess it's my hand now, Dundee. Oh. I think it likes you. But maybe keep an eye out for an extra left hand. Ah, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Welp, dang it. <laughs> and we're gonna pet Lily the cat again. What else you got over here, Dundee? This bucket belongs to Dundee. Probably don't want to take it from him. Dundee's fishing pole is massive. If you were a fish, I'm sure it would reel you in without a struggle. Alright, let's keep going to the north. Hey, there's a thing here. Hello. Portly? Well, hello there, adventurer. You must have had traveled quite a way to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home, and I shall tell you more. Alright, I guess we're just gonna follow him. Is that on the back? Is that just like a pattern, or uh, is that like an eyeball looking back at me? It's a pleasant game. Oh, he's like a turtle. So it's a shell. Like a little turtle man. We have arrived! So, where were we? Ah, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Please, speak to me as soon as you can. No, I'll do that now. Oh, hello there again. I see you are ready to help out. In retrospect, I probably should have just led right into the quest. Uh, anyways, do you see those flower beds? I was going to water them, but now that you're here, can you do it for me? Yeah. How much fun you're going to have, my oh my! Grab that watering can in front of my house. Then you can use the watering can on them from your inventory. Alright, let's go do that. Watering can added to inventory. Let me just go tap. And we go watering can, use. You place the watering can on top of the can. Nothing happens. Oh. Oh, silly Lily. She's in the way. I didn't read all that. You water the flowers. How nice. The flowers are wilting and are in dire need of watering. They are too beautiful to let die. You water the flowers. These flowers smell wonderful. You water the flowers. Let's go over here. Use. You water the flowers. Watering can removed from inventory. Wow! Thank you so much! You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please, take this as a thank you. Coin added to inventory. Ooh, you can go to that wishing well. You have proven your courage to me. I think you have what it takes to save my town. 
You see, many folks in this town are in dire need of help. Feel free to explore my town and help as many folks as you can. If you do this for me, I may have a very special quest to give you. I sense something bad is coming. I should also mention, anyone with a exclamation has a quest to offer you. If you ever feel lost, feel free to read the quest board near the fountain. It shall guide you in the right direction. Please, brave adventurer, if you save my town, I will offer you something wonderful. Wow, I can't believe we have a whole town. This is going to be so fun. Let's go inside his house. Oh, can I not go inside the house? You try knocking, but no one answers. We saw somebody just walk around right now. Don't know where they went to. Oh, here's somebody with an exclamation point. Can't really make out what they are. Friends. Hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Uh, would that be okay? Yes. I like to move around. Like a lot. Running used to be one of my favorite things to do, but I always feel like I was missing something. And that's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she fell ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel. Sarah could no longer run with me after that. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together. Sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually, things got worse and worse as I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in her final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced with even the tiniest motion. That was no way to live. I watched my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Wow. That really helped me a lot to get that off my chest. The smallest things can make someone's day. Thank you, Atlas. You're such a wonderful listener. Alright. Let's go in here. Try knocking, but no one answers. Whose house do you think this is? That's Sarah's residence. Sarah no longer lives there. France residence. Can we go inside? No one answers. It's a trash can. Oh, there's somebody else down here with an exclamation mark. Please help me. I lost my grandma. She's somewhere inside our house. And it's too dark for me to go in there now. In in the wee alone, alone. I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go look for her for me? Yes. Oh, thank you so much, stranger. Scrubert. We are no wits on in the house, so it is going to be dark. I hope you have a white good luck. I do have a light. Let's go look for Grandma. Oh wow, this place is dark. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scrubert's Grandma. 
Minnie says it. You turn on the lantern. It's locked. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. The coat is old, dusty, and smells like a swamp. Oh, Grandma? Where are you, Grandma? Everything looks to be in pristine condition despite the derelict look of the house. Everything looks to be in pristine condition. Okay, we read that already. Is Grandma in bed? She's not. You're far too afraid to sleep in here. Plus, I don't think Shrobert would like if you slept in their bed. Grandma, the bathroom perhaps? On the bright side, it looks recently used. Oh, she must still be alive then. Huh, I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying the electricity. Hmm, there's arrows that point down. There's a bed. This bed looks like it hasn't been used in at least a few years. The sheets are perfectly folded. Hmm. Is that a lock? A bag? Say finally? Okay. Flip to switch. I don't know what the switch did. Oh. Somebody just ran. Is that Gwamma? Dead Gwamma added to inventory. We found her. Let's get her back to Schrubert. I'm sure he'll be so happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be delighted. Hey, Schrubert. Oh yeah, go right in, please. Don't stew, stew anything. Just... Show who to me once you find who. Here we are. There you go. Oh! No thanks. You can keep her. <gasps> oh. Something's going on. Hmm. Guess we'll go this way, because that's the way Lily's going. Where did that silly dog run off to? Lily is a cat. Oh, there you are, Lily. Good job on finding the paddle boy. Now we can finally begin our journey to the north. <laughs> Alright. I was allowed to just said Atlas is my friend over and over again. That's definitely not an obsessive thing. This is definitely a really nice thing. Oh, there you are, Atlas. You were just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. Well, I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. Yeah. Let's keep going. Actually, what time are we at here? Oh, this is all. Uh, 48 minutes, getting ready to go on 50. Should I just keep going? I did a bit of a long intro. I kind of wanted this to be up a little more. My camera doesn't really stay in the position that I want. Uh, let's see. Let's go around. They came this way originally. It's over here. Oh, hey! There's a person. Rudy. Well, hello there, stranger. My name is Rudy. Welcome to my blacksmith shop. I'm actually one of the newest members to town. So, like, I just built this place. Sadly, that also means I don't have much to sell yet. I can tell you came looking to buy. You know what? I think you can help me out. A strong and noble adventurer like you is going to need some steel to wield. 
If you can help me find some metal to smelt, I think I can get you a weapon. What do you say? Yes. Oh, rad. This is going to be like amazing for the both of us. The best place to get some would be near the south of my shop. It's also probably best that you follow me there to help grab the materials and protect me along the way from any danger. Follow me, but please don't touch my arms. The last person that did is six feet under. Is all arms, tiny little legs. All right, try to keep up. Just gotta not touch his arms. Oh, oh god. Please don't leave me alone. Get it. We're good. Ready? I hope I'm going at a fast enough pace. Yeah, sure, it's fine. So is this like a downhill, or is this kind of a flat that we're moving? I sure hope nothing bad happens to us. Well, yeah, I mean, it should be okay. You know, just a nice stroll through these woods. Man, I'm getting exhausted. I bet. You try going with your feet. Maybe let them knuckles just grind. Almost there. I can see it now. Okay. Hey, look at that big old pile of scrap. Wow. See that metal pile? We're getting closer by the second. Yep. Hey, we're here. Wow. What a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyways, you seem exhausted from all of that walking. Get on the pile of metal, and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. This is what's, what's happening. All right, let's go. Here we go. Just, you know, Lily gonna be running by our side. Just gonna sit right there. Just Lily's just gonna sit right there. Oh, <gasps> Lily the cat dog. Oh, here they come. Oh. Okay, Lily's riding on the metal too. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Huh. Well, I guess Lily did put on a few pounds. They just take off. Rudy is going to be a great friend, I just know it. I mean, just look at those arms. Yeah. Oh. Oh god, we are heavy. Oh, we're moving at a sluggish pace. Oh, Lily, I have given you far too many table scraps. We're gonna have to give you a bit of a break there, Lily. Oh, just such a drag. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're almost there. Luckily, Rudy took us about halfway. Oh, here we go. We're just about there at Rudy's. And we're here. All right. Hey, Rudy. I'm working on your weapon, but it might not be ready until tomorrow. Thanks again for the help. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay. It's this. It smells like violence. Violence does have a very distinct smell. Uh, yeah, I think this actually may be a good place to stop playing buddy simulator. Um... Alright, I guess it's like more like jump scare psychological horror than anything. Oh, I really wish this would just... stay in one place and not move. 
I'll just take a look at it when I'm done. But yeah, uh, fun times are being had. There's that creepy psychological darkness to the game that we are coming across, but other than that, it's just been fun little adventures. F fun adventures all the time. Here in Buddy Simulator, I'm having a great time, and I hope you are too. So there's only going to be, I believe it's four videos for Buddy Simulator in October. I'm wrong, it's five. There'll be five videos of Buddy Simulator in October, the last one being on the 29th, unless we manage to complete it sooner. Who knows? Maybe we will. Maybe it's a multi-ending thing and we go back to it. But, I hope that you enjoyed this little change of pace in my channel from what the general norm is. I apologize to those who came here looking for Black Myth Wukong on Tuesdays, only to find that Buddy Simulator was uploaded instead. We'll be back to our schedule in November though, so don't worry. We'll be back. Anyways, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.